Okay, audio check. Can you hear me? Type 2 if you can hear me this time. Also, I have a new tweet. Go like it. Shifted. Hold. Hold. Oh no. I kicked it from under the table. Shit. Hey, guys, guys, hold, hold, hold. Politely hold. Okay, saved. Saved. Hello, welcome in everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Um, my second camera was malfunctioning today, so we're gonna have to make do with just the DSLR HD camera POV today. I'm sorry. 
Um, but welcome in everybody. We had Luigi, Kobobu, and Mac in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. They are baby pumpkins. Yes, they are. They are. Okay, so today is day two of Wicked Week. We're doing Halloween streams all week. Yesterday we did the candy tier list. If you want to see the results, you can go check it out on my Twitter. I spelled Twitter wrong, Lamau. And today we're going to be carving pumpkins. So I haven't carved pumpkins in a long time because I feel like it's a very childish thing to do. And also like it's so messy. It's so goddamn messy. Even when I was younger, like I hated the feeling of like the seeds on my hands. So we're not doing that today. I have like little... I have little foam pumpkins because they actually came with these floral decorations at the shop. As you can see. It's foam. It's fake. I could try and like carve into it, but I honestly don't like working with blades. And because I used to make like a lot of paper cuts. Like I had a phase in my art hobby where I really like doing paper cuts. But the the likelihood of you like slicing your finger open is very likely. And I don't want to show blood on the train because that's TOS and I don't want to get clapped. So we're going to be decorating normally today. I have paint pens. I also have metallic ones. I have regular Sharpies. So we're going to do a little bit of art today. Um, thank you for redeeming Kobobo. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sad, not a big or real pumpkin. I know. Okay. But I have to walk home for the store. Imagine me. I don't have a camera on, so you guys can't see me. Mind me. But imagine me carrying a 20 pound pumpkin two miles home from the nearest grocery store that has pumpkins you would think people driving by would think i'm fucking insane or that i stole it or some shit <laughs> maybe next year next year chatters maggie sports the budget was very low next year we'll get a real pumpkin dollar tree sells pumpkins the closest dollar tree to me is like two miles away so so yeah no, 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 you don't get the problem. I don't like the blades. I'm so scared they're gonna go T I'm gonna go T and then get banned for showing blood on stream. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, we're gonna sketch out what I wanted, because I have three. We're probably stream for like two hours today. I want to do something different for each pumpkin. So, I'm gonna do a quick thumbnail sketch. Guys, I'm in art school. can't even see the fucking pencil. Okay, so the first idea I had was going with the abstract theme, I want to do like rings, you know, like Sonic. All the way down the grooves. So it'll look like that. Por favor, focus, por favor. Anyway. That's the idea I have for the first one. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, feel free and tell me. Like, I can do one where I just do, like, normal faces. I think that'd be cool. Like, do, like, somewhat more illustrative ones. So, I think I'll do the one of the basic orange ones first. So, I have paint pens and Sharpies today. I was gonna get puppy paint, but I feel like that'd be a bit too messy. gradient of different colors. So I have a brown pen here. Should I just go for it? I'm gonna turn off this other light. It's leaving a weird shadow. Also, this music is scarier than yesterday's. Kinda spooky. idea because I just do rings all the way down oh wait I have a better idea what if I do eyes instead of rings I do eyes that'd go crazy 
you ever have dreams about Twitch? Kinda. It's kinda like how you have work dreams. I've had- <laughs> I've had- I've only had like bad dreams about Twitch streaming. Like I've had dreams where I get hate rated. I've had dreams where people bully me. <laughs> so... <laughs> Sag. I'm gonna get a white paint pen. I think doing eyes would go crazy. Sad, yeah. And that's the way the game found to happen. Hate having work dreams. I mean, I feel like having work dreams is kind of normal. Like, back when I used to work in food service, I didn't have any, like, nightmare, like, work dreams. I only had nice ones. And a Tennessee Titans pumpkin? Is that a sports team? Oh, this one's a new one. Isn't this nice? Isn't that a nice sound? <laughs> Come on. Hey, oh, there we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with eyes. So, I'm just gonna do white little diamond shapes all the way down and then I'll add like eyelashes and like pupils. I think this one's gonna look very cool. It's a football team? Okay. I don't keep up with sports at all because I'm an anime weeb, not a sports weeb. You know what I mean? We got two. Probably feel like four eyes on each one. The only thing I have to be careful about when working with these pens is that the the paint does dry fairly quickly, but you still have to be careful. Uh, I almost started streaming late today because I exercised for like an hour instead of 30 minutes today. Because I was in a mood, like I was feeling it. Like yesterday I did a fuck ton of squats. Because I pay, I play the Ring Fit Adventure game on the Switch, and it basically has you do like jogging and then aerobic type exercises and core stuff. So yesterday I did a full load of squats, so I was like dead all day. But then today, like I was still super sore from yesterday, but I was like, you know, I want to beat a whole level today. So I just try harded and exercise for an hour straight, which probably wasn't a good idea. But, you know, it's fine. Enemy person, what about Dragon Ball? Um... Um... Okay. You know how older anime doesn't look pretty? It looks kind of ugly. And you know how old anime, they take forever to get through one story plotline? That's my opinions on Dragon Ball. Like, some of the art is cool, but it's just not for me. I like football, but knowing that people get locked down injuries is a turn off. I know. Like, professional sports is so, like, scary to think about. Yeah, watching- I think boxing is kind of entertaining. But then you have that underlying thought in the back of your head, like, Oh, someone could, like, actually fucking get severely injured or die. And that's not fun. It- okay, I think- Watching sports like that is reminiscent of, you know, like, gladiators. Okay, hold, the holding like this is, like, bad for my wrist, but I want you guys to see. Because they're not doing super fine details, so I can afford if the lines aren't as clean. Dude, this design's gonna go crazy. Is anybody else carving pumpkins at home? Okay, now I have to be careful, because this part is almost dry, but I have to, like, hold it in a way. See how my, like, there's a gap right here? So I'm not totally clipping. Anybody carving pumpkins this year?
We got basic ass pumpkins outside? Come on, dude. Come on. You can add a little bit of pizzazz. I've not carved a pumpkin in ages. Me too. Okay, you know I said I shouldn't smear. I just smeared right here. Lamo. Okay, this is probably gonna need two coats of white because it's not as opaque as I want it to be. In my opinion, I think painting would be fun. I had an idea to where... You know how people do paint pours? What if you did a paint pour on a pumpkin? I think that would go crazy. I think that'll be the new trend. You love the feeling of the seeds? I'm the opposite, man. I fucking hate it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like this. Fuck up my fingers instead of my wrist this time. Somebody should do a paint pour pumpkin and then send it to me on Twitter. Because I'd love to see that. Or wait, let's sh search that actually. Meg phone streamer. Let's see. Paint for pumpkin. I feel like somebody's had to do it, right? Oh my god, guys. It's beautiful. Let me show you. I'm going to put my phone on screen. Do not disturb. Look at that. Okay, it's not showing anything. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like those marbled cakes. This one, too. That one's cute. Okay, well, I guess somebody has done it. <laughs> this- Sorry. There's an art blog called the DIY Nuts. <laughs> These nuts, Lamo. Okay, well, somebody has done a paint pour pumpkin, unfortunately. <laughs> wow, unoriginal. I mean, I thought it was a cool idea. You guys see that? I splattered everywhere. And white is not the best color for that to happen in. Hey, yo! I got jokes here, guys. I don't know why it's splattered, though. It's kind of not cool. What game am I playing tomorrow? You'll see. It's gonna be a very scary game, of course. You'll see. I'm not gonna leak what it is. If I get 10 million Prime subs right now, I'll tell you what we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, imagine. How many, like, live concurrent users are using Twitch at any given time? Does anybody have that stat? It's probably available somewhere. I think it'd be cool if, like, you could carve pumpkins outside. That way you can just put a tarp out and spray out the tarp when you're done. But it's way too freaking cold. Because I know when we used to carve pumpkins, we'd do it on, like, the dining room table. Because our dining room table was a wooden one, and it was the kind to where, like, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it was, it's the ones where, like, it has, like, a hidden, like, third of the table underneath. So, like, you would open... The table would split, and then you could insert that third into it, so it'd be, like, twice as long, almost. But she would put, like, a tarp on the table, and then on the floor. Because me and my sister, we weren't, like, crazy messy when we, when we were younger, but... Oh my god, we were... <laughs> Shit, I... Fuck. I gotta be careful. We, we were so mess... Oh no, oh... <laughs> It's going downhill, guys. Oh, no. Like, we were such messy eaters, but not necessarily messy crafters. Like, after dinner, we'd have to sweep the floor every night because we'd spill so many crumbs. Okay, now I gotta be extra careful because that's still a bit wet. No, this is, this is hard work, guys. This is very difficult. I 
I think we might have to do the pumpkins in phases because we have to wait for the layers to dry. Wait, holding like this is so much easier? Who knew? Imagine. Okay, what pattern should I do for the next pumpkin? You ever see the, like, calligraphy work or the illustration work where if you look at it upside down, it reads the same, like, you know, the Princess Bride word art? Where if you look at it right side up and then upside down, it says the same thing. Something cool. Thank you, Mac, for the lovely suggestion. Okay, so that one's good. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit. <clears throat> Do you have a Luigi's Mansion on the playlist? It might be, because I just searched in YouTube Halloween Nintendo music, so it could be in here. Probably. Oh, uh, because this, this isn't Nintendo. This is, like, all type of game music, I think. Okay, what should I do on this one? Hmm, this one already has a red on it. Peace I to... Hmm. What if we did, like, bloody hand... Like, you know people have, like, the little gel decorations? Whereas, like, the bloody gel hand... How could I integrate that? Actually, no. I think I just- I want to do something- Let's sketch it out. I feel like bloody hands- it would be cool if it was grabbing it like this. Like it, uh, let's sketch it out. You know, always do thumbnail sketches, guys, so we can constantly out what you're working. Like, if I did... <laughs> like, if I did, like, hands, like, grabbing each of the sides, but it would look kind of weird. I think that could only be good if it was, like, a three... Like, if I molded with clay a 3D hand. Otherwise, I don't think it'd work. <laughs> Sorry, I, I said the friend a joke. <laughs> and I said something funny back. <laughs> okay, done. Make fun stream, we're done. I deleted all the memes on my phone because I needed more storage space and I feel kind of sad, but that just means I have to get more memes, right? Oh wait, I forgot to set up a sub goal today. Oopsie. Oilers mod check? I got thrown off because my camera shifted at the start of stream, remember? Okay, we're at 80 subs, so let's do 85. We're also gonna fall off in a few days because there was one stream about a month ago where Kobobo gifted like 10. So we're gonna go down 10 subs, guys. We gotta make up for our losses, okay? If we hit our sub goal today, then we can either do Cold to the Lamb tomorrow or maybe today. I'm not sure about today because Cutie Cinderella has a. A very fun stream at 6 p.m. my time that I really want to watch. Okay, let's go back to designing. Okay, so I think what I want to do for this design, I want to do like an abstract... Something like this. Like this little like diamond shape, but on like the tops and the bottoms of each of the grooves. That way it kind of looks like a quilt almost. <sighs> raid? We did not get a raid. They're capping. Yeah, so I think that's what I want to do for this one. I want it to look like a quilt. Your brother deleted your save? Oh no. 
Dude, thankfully I didn't have any of like the retro games, so I didn't get to experience the absolute despair with like my game crashing or not having auto saves. Okay, this one is good. Oh, will we raid Cutie Cinderella stream? <laughs> Dude. Dude. When okay. Okay. <laughs> no, we will not raid a 3k Andy streamer. <laughs> I feel weird rating Scootish sometimes. If I have less than 10 people. Cause like What's a nice way of saying it? Uh it uh, I don't know how to say it, but it just feels like it's not as recepted well. If if I let's say for example if I had 20 people, it'd be like, whoa, wow we 20 people. But if you have a rate of less than 10, people usually don't get as hype. That's why, um I'm gonna get work and talk, work and talk. About a month ago, I changed my rate alerts to not have the viewer count on screen. So you know how I'll I'll, I'll demonstrate real quick. That you guys can actually see it, and you'll notice this if we don't get many raids live because I stream in the morning. So you guys, we literally never get raids, which is fine. I don't give a fuck because raids aren't good for growth anyway. So this is a test alert. See. CO says so and so rated the channel. It doesn't say the viewer count because I don't want anybody who's rating to feel bad for whatever number they have. The only place um, that the viewer count will show is in the actual raid. So why are they a thing then? It's just like a. It's to keep people on the platform. Like they don't have it on YouTube yet because the moderation settings aren't there. How am I gonna do this? Let's do dots here. Um. It's to keep people on the Twitch platform. Meaning, if you raid out to somebody, it's it's not for growth, it's mainly to keep people on Twitch. Because if you keep raiding and raiding out to different channels, then you're going to stay on the platform. Like, you're going to keep watching Twitch. Hi, Emmy people! Hey, welcome in! I'm oh, doing well today, hon. Yeah, I don't like how... Yeah, you can't really see it, but I did like a point here. I don't like it. I regret it. But it's fine, it's fine. Maybe I can just fill it in. I think I'll fill it in. That looks a bit better. Looks a bit better. You can see, like, it's like a little diamond shape. Then... It looks like a little chevron, right? A, a chevron is like an arrow shape like this. That's a chevron. But it's just like a repeated pattern. Okay, I like that shape a lot, actually. Let's look at it from... Yeah, then we can do like a different shape on the bottom. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. See, I have to figure out how I did this shape again. Okay, so I have the center point here. Connect it here. Okay. See, the thing I love about geometric work is that the alignment is really pretty to look at. Talking about alignment, I didn't line it up correctly. <laughs> Oopsie. It's fine. You can see, like, it's supposed to be here. Oh, this one is fucked. This one is fucked. Nobody snitch. Nobody snitch. I'm in art school. Delete the VOD. Can you see how I'm. <laughs> it's a little bit crooked. But you know what? It's fine. It's a okay. 
I'll line up the next one. Okay, this red looks a lot brighter on camera, but it's more muted. Okay, let's do this correctly this time. <laughs> this stream feels like a fever dream. Huh. Probably because I don't have face cam on today. Maybe the music? I don't know. He sang too. Hmm. Okay, let's line this up. Maybe I should have got all around the way and line up everything. Oh yeah, Mac, you're resting up today, yeah? Okay, that one is aligned a lot better now. You know when you mess up a project and like, you always... <laughs> you put the fuck up in the back where people can't see it in the picture? That's probably what we're gonna have to do with this one. Okay, but now the alignment's gonna be perfect. No need to worry. Oh, that looks really nice. It looks like elegant almost. <laughs> I wish, but the whole project always looks bad. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. <laughs> oh, Dios mío. Okay, you know how when you do art projects in elementary school and then they hang them all up on like a bulletin board in the hallway? Not to be an egomaniac, but I would look at everybody else's drawings and mine would look so much better than everybody else's. Like, I have a, I have a, I have a memory of walking through the halls, and this was when I was in third grade, and we had to do a watercolor crayon project. So you know how like wax resists to water? So we had to do like owl drawings and you had to color in the eyes white, that way it resists the watercolor. And my owl, it still looked bad because I still have the picture actually. Um, but mine was like so much better than everyone else is. It feels bad when it didn't make the display, no. Our school, we had to hang everybody's up so it was there for everybody to see if yours looked like ass. Oh, look at this from the top. It looks like a poinsettia, kind of, huh? Hmm. He's I too. Hmm. Should I? You know what I think a dream job would be? Like, you know the, 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 uh, drawn signs you see at, like, Trader Joe's and shit? With like the nice calligraphy. Dude, I want to do that shit so bad. I'd be so good. Type 1. Oh, this looks so pretty from the top. Pumpkin's got a cape? Oh, and it kind of does, actually. Should I make a Superman pumpkin? Sorry, I'm just looking at it. This looks so nice. Because that's the... I don't usually work in 3D. Like, I want to get into sculpting. But it's nice how things look different at different angles. Like, I want to get into, like, foam... What's it called? When you work with foam, you can, like, sh like carve it and stuff. It's cool. <sighs> but I want to work in 3D, but 3D is a very difficult medium to get into. Because it requires a lot of practice, and the supplies are very expensive. I'm sorry, you guys can't see me work. Bad streamer. Okay, I'm actually liking this one a lot. More than I thought I would. And I think the nice thing about working or doing abstract art is hearing what people see when they look at your piece. 
like um, the one we did last Friday. I'm not gonna touch it because my eye pain on my fingers. But you know the one that looks like the Spider-Man one? I had a few replies to the Instagram stories and someone was like, oh my god, it looks like a corset. And then somebody else was like, it looks like a zipper. It, it's cool hearing what people see when they look at an abstract piece, you know what I mean? Like, it kind of forces people to make connections and think about what they're looking at versus, like, a realistic render or... What you call it? Or, like, a... Like, a, a portrait realistic render or, like, a landscape. A super pumpkin. Is there any streams that we could do for Thanksgiving? I can't think of any, really. Because we don't have, like, a final move-in date yet, but we're thinking of moving in, like, Thanksgiving weekend. That way we can take, or I can take a few days off of stream, then my sister can take a few days off of work, because it's, like, a natural holiday. And then we can just move all our shit. But I don't know, it's not set in stone yet. But I think that'd be best. That way I'm not gone for too long. So I'm not used to working in the air. But if I work too close to the table, then you guys can't see as well. Yeah, this looks really pretty from the top. I'm really liking it. Okay, now here's the hard part. There we go. We have the base design done. Let's see from the side. Oh, that looks so cute. I like it a lot. It's actually adorable. Still have a little spin. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. So we're gonna let that one dry. I think we can go back to the eye one now. We can do one more coat of white. Just the one that's open. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and put one more coat of white. That way it's slightly more opaque. Yeah, see how it's not like full coverage yet? So I'll do one more coat. Then we can come back to this one. I'm still thinking about what I want to do for the last one. I think I want to try and make an illustration. Like, you know, I talked about earlier. That looks the same when you look at it from right side up and then upside down. So I'm, I'm like, concepting that out in my head right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and do it this way. Because some parts of this white are still kind of wet. I mean, this pumpkin looks kind of cool with just the white spots on it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, see the difference between two coats? Right here. Oh, right here. And then one coat. See how it's so much more opaque now? Thank you. 
And it's weird because like the foam is almost absorbing the paint a little bit. Which I didn't think would happen. Because depending on the type of foam, it's not necessarily porous. Dude, porous is a word I haven't used in a long time. I am so annoyed. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Uh, I use the loofah when I like wash up and stuff. And I threw out my loofah last night because you're supposed to change out like your sponges, your loofahs, at least once every month. Because it's fine if some germs stay on there, but you don't want to keep them for more than a month. So I threw out my loofah last night. And I went to go wash up this morning. I didn't buy anymore. I was so fucking annoyed. So I have to go out and buy some more tonight. So I had to use a silly barn soap today and it felt disgusting. I don't know how people can wash themselves without using a loofah. It, it's so weird to me. Cause like a loofah is like a natural exfoliant. Meaning it kind of like scrapes away your dead skin easier than a, you would with your hands and a silly bar of soap. So that's your life lesson. Make sure whenever you swap out shit, you have backups. Washcloths? But that's single use. Okay, we had, we talked about this before, but the people who reuse their towels after they shower, kind of gross, not gonna lie. I don't get it. I don't understand them. Because, like, when I wash up, when I wash my hands, I use a single use towel. I don't like reusing towels. Because my mom told me when I was little, like five years old, they used to reuse towels, but then I would get, like, like big um like rashes on my hands and stuff you can wash waffles yeah but i mean like you know when you go to like hotel or something and they give you like one or two hand cloths that you're supposed to use for your whole stay and you're just expected to reuse it unless like the normal of just reusing a, a washcloth i just don't get it If you get seven washcloths, wash them once a week, but that's only one washcloth per day. And then think about all the people in the house who are using the same washcloth. Ew. Like my dad, he works with cars and machines all day. I don't want to get the icky shit on my hands. I don't know. I, I might be a hypochondriac. The more I talk to people, they're just like, that's weird. I'm like, yeah, but it's not that weird. Okay, the last section. Okay, that one is still a bit wet, Rip. I'm used to working with my piece of art like inches away from my face and I have it like a foot away from my face and it's very hard. I love Lufus 10 out of 10. I agree. The one time I agree with Mac. Okay, so we have our second coat of white. So now the eyes are fully opaque, so we're gonna let this dry for a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't. Make phone streamer, make phone streamer. Make phone streamer. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I okay. You guys don't know what the meme is. It's it's fucking edgy as hell. hell. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. Oh my god, I can't, I can't. I gotta like, find a good meme to like, one-up them, you know? I love the chat messages where you can like, just chat normally, and then you have like, a 20 message chain going back and forth to sending each other memes. I think that is like, good shit.
I can't. Okay, I think I sent a good one. Okay, now we're done. This one is still a bit wet, so I can't necessarily do the base yet without safely not smearing. Hmm. This one looks really nice on its own, though. It's really cute. Peepo cute. <clears throat> Okay, maybe I should work on this one. So this one, I wanted to sketch out a face that can be the same from looking at it from the top and the bottom. This one is gonna be difficult. I have like the base shape here. Okay, actually, it might be a bit too difficult. I, when I said I was thinking of what to do, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cause like, the way they do it is you'll see in a lot of those illustrations they'll do like wavy lines that could easily be like distorted and changed. I should have sketched this out last night. Okay, maybe nix that idea. Scratch that. We're doing something else. What should I do on this one? <laughs> or maybe something with a bat? Should I do blood? Maybe leaves? Well, I, sh I should probably just do faces. Like, you know, like a normal jack-o'-lantern? Do a pumpkin? I know. Easy clap. I think I'll just do faces on this one. Do like a normie ass pumpkin. Let's get some black. Okay, this one's open. I always make the mistake of trying to use the unopened markers before the new ones. Hi, Potato! Welcome in! Hope we're doing well today, hon. We're doing pumpkins! Look at these! Very cute! <laughs> okay. So I think we're just gonna do normal ass faces on this last one. But we should make them weird. Kind of wacky. <clears throat> Or maybe I can do, like, a black- No, I should do yellow first. Because I can make the illusion of their glow if I do yellow first and then do black on top of it. That way it has, like, a, a slight- I'm shaking! A slight, like, yellow outline. I'm probably gonna have to do two coats of this yellow. Because it's not gonna show up well here. Okay. So I'll do a face on every two panels. So two, four- Excuse me, there's eight panels on here, so you can do four faces. Oh, wow, this is actually pretty opaque. Wow. Wowie wow. This is so much bigger than the other one. The one thing I hate about abstract or illustration is that symmetry is essential. Like, your shit has to look symmetrical to look cohesive. Should I do Peace I Too Evil Smile as a pumpkin? I really like the pumpkin's carving style where you don't carve all the way in, but you, like, chip at the outer skin. I've never been able to do it because it... <laughs> Whenever we tried to do it on Jinger, like, I would just poke all the way through. Because I had, I had such little motor control when I was younger. Oh, look, he's so happy. Wait, I just realized. When you carve it a pumpkin, the part that remains is orange, not black. I might have just fucked it. <laughs> I have jokes. I have jokes. We're not gonna say jokes. 
Guys, it's so hard to be PG-13, I swear to God. Look how happy he is. He's so happy. Yay. Okay, let's do another face. We should do an angry one. This pumpkin's gonna be really mad. Say it? No. No. It wouldn't even make sense for me because I don't have the right parts. I mean... <laughs> I can't. I can't. You know what my favorite 7 TV emote is? Right now? It's I can't. It's so stupid. It's just the emoji. I can't. I saw it in extra Emily's chat and I fell in love. Look, he's so angry. It's mid. Look, I'm really mad. I like it a lot. So I think it's funny. How should I do the mouth? Should I just do like a little... <laughs> little... Just be like, oh! Some nose holes. Dude, what's that humming? That's weird. That's part of the song. What the fuck? Okay, I don't like how that looks. We're gonna change that. We're gonna make this into like a really happy mouth. He's no longer angry. He's just really happy. <laughs> That's scary, but I know it's weird. What is this? Timestamp 53. Oh, it's from Luigi's Mansion. Oh, it's Luigi humming. I was like, it kind of sounds like a middle, but I'm not sure. Hi, Pride! Oh, welcome in, people! Hey! Hope you're doing well today, hun. Look, he's so happy. Oh, I should- should we do, like, cute faces? Should we add, like, little blushes? We'll add blushes. We'll do that. At the end, though. At the end. Okay, what face- I got two more faces left. What other shape can I do? Wait, we need to make, like, a capital D colon face. I think capital D colon is my favorite Twitch emote. Even though it's not an actual Twitch emote, it's my favorite extension one. Because, like, even without seeing the little blue face, you can still, you can still, like, figure out what the person's trying to say. It's like the old school emoticons. Luigi about to stream go crazy. How long is the game playing? Like, how long is the actual game? Because it's puzzle based, right? And y'all know I'm fucking ass at puzzles. Okay, I'll, uh, how, how, somebody tell me how long the game is. Because I don't know how much I can handle, like, puzzles. I would actually lose my goddamn mind. Hi, Crystal people. Hey, welcome in. It's not short. That's not what I want to hear. I like short games. Because I think... I don't want to do too many, like, long games at once. Yeah, I'm going to try, like, half-cylinder-shaped eyes here. There you go. Okay, one more face. I'm gonna do like a really... Weird smile. Oh, I, I kind of rounded the top of this triangle. Thank you for the lit crystal. Oh, it's, it's not symmetrical. I 
think I'll add Luigi's Mansion to like the long-term sub-goal list. I'll add it tomorrow. Oh, you know a game I like recently rediscovered that I want to play? Is Castle Crashers. That's our goal for 100. Because I remember I would go to my friend's house and play Cooking Mama and then Castle Crashers. And they ported it to the Switch. So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna play Castle Clashes again. Granted, I wasn't good at it when I was younger, so I'm probably not gonna be any better at it now, but. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I messed up. I smeared. Okay. Let's see, did I smear anything else? No. Okay, so we're gonna let this one dry. This one still looks really fucking wet. You can't really see. Oh, you guys see that shine? It's, like, dripping wet still. Yes, it's st it's still wet. I tested it. It's still wet. That's what she said. Lamau, KW. Good one, Mac. Good one! <laughs> Low W, good one. <laughs> or, <laughs> I, I love seeing in, like, S-Fan's chat, whenever he has um, tech issues, it, okay, it's actually so bad that his chat does it, but it's so funny. So whenever- because he does a lot of IRL streams. I think he's streaming on YouTube. Or when I woke up, he was streaming on YouTube. He's doing like an exercise stream. Um, but anytime there's tech issues, and let's say it's muted, people will just spam like, low W classic, like, as if they're like laughing to a joke he said. And it, it's so bad, but it's so funny. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, let's say. This one, I gotta let dry for a little bit more. So maybe, this one is still wet too. What am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Maybe I can start working on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna need a fine black liner. I also have metallic ones that we can break out later. We should have red eyes. That'd go crazy. No, let's do black. No, red, red would look cool. Red would look epic. <clears throat> okay, both of my black fine liner paint pens are kind of busted. Oh, wait. <laughs> this one's leaking. Because I use them on a bad surface, so they kind of dry out quickly. Wait, can I write my name? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, this one's good. I have so much sh my desk. Oh, whatever you don't use the pens for a while, they, they pull like this. Okay, i use this one first. Okay, now we're gonna add the eye details for this one. No. Why? It's still a bit wet. Okay, I think this is the driest I'm gonna get. Okay, let's get started. Whoa, what the fuck is this? I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like songs with words. Okay, next playlist! I don't like playing songs with words because then I feel like it covers my voice speaking. Who else blocks me from speaking? Running ads! Because chatters, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, not at a 10, thank you, thank you. I thought that was a pretty fucking good transition. Anyway. Or you can like your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. See if you have... Wait. Click... Cl <laughs> click down here and see if you have a Prime sub available. Um, after that, we're going to keep decorating. We are probably like halfway through because I just got to add more details to all the base paint we put down. So stick around. Back to work. Oh. 
This is gonna be so difficult. When you hold pencils, you're supposed to hold them on your middle finger, but I hold them on my ring finger. If you go make and hold them on my pinky, that way I have less, like, fingers to drag. But that'd be very, that'd be a very weird way to hold your utensil. Oh wait, I should do red first, because the eyes are gonna be red. Never mind, hold. Red eyes. Oh wait, I should do different colors. Hold. <laughs> Let's do like red, green, and blue eyes. I think that would go crazy. I'll add a little bit more color. Oh, this blue is not open. I'm gonna open all my pens, and instead of doing all the blue eyes first and all the green eyes, etc., I'm just gonna do them row by row. That way they dry evenly. Ooh, this is gonna look scary. Also, when you use paint pens on top of each other, they do kind of jam up a little bit, meaning if the layer you're painting on top of isn't fully dry, the paint gets kind of stuck in the nozzle. And since we're working with a surface that isn't like porous, like paper, it's just going to take a while for it to dry, so it's fine. You just have to make sure you keep the tip of your pen or your nozzle like clean and clear as much as you can. There we go, so first row done. Okay, I'm not gonna do all the eyes centered either. I'm gonna have like some to the left or the right to make it look like they're looking. To make it look like they are looking. dip the blue into the black ink. Fuck. Oh no, I just talked about keeping nozzles clean. Rick. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Life lesson number 267. Be cautious with your work. There we go. It looks Christmassy almost with this color palette. Christmas streams are gonna go crazy because what I want to do is for all my roommates I want to make all their co-workers like little goodie bags so I want to make them like 
like mini bags with like treats like I've never made chocolate bark or like peppermint bark so I want to try and make that I also want to try and make like mini cookies so I could just do like a week of baking streams I think that would go crazy I mean it'd probably get like kind of boring to watch but I think it'd be kind of nice to watch me decorate oh this is looking really fucking cool If I'm able to stream from our kitchen, I want to do like a weekly cooking stream where I try out a new recipe or I do like a recipe from Cooking Mama. I think that'd be really fun. Imagine all the sugar mama jokes I can make. <laughs> They look like eyes to me. Yes, they are. You got it right on the dot. I decided to do different colors instead of black people's. So we'll add details once it's dry. Because I think I want to add, like, a, a black iris and then, like, you know, the little, like, white glint and then eyelashes to all of them. So this one is going to take, like, several layers to achieve, but we're getting there. Oh, I almost did the wrong color. I must ruin the run. Guys, should I try, like, legitimately speedrunning a game? I think that'd be actual torture to watch. Because I think speedrunners are only fun to watch if they, like, know what they're doing. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have our... Colors down. I think what I also want to do at the end is on each of these, like the grooves, I want to do like a line of gold metallic. I think that'd look good. Or maybe black. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. I don't need to do a second layer of the colors because since we painted it on top of white, it's already gonna be opaque. What game would I do? I think Odyssey would be fun because I think the mechanics for Odyssey are the best. But, since that speed run is like usually like an hour long anyway. But I don't- I'm not good at doing the skips and shit. So if those are eyes, does the pumpkin have a brain? No, it's actually- There's a million holes in the pumpkin, and it's like little critter's eyes peeping out. I think that's the lore. Sorry, my feet are numb. 
I'm massaging them. No free feet! No free feet. Because, like, as you guys normally see, like, when I do a game, you'll see me, like, shift or adjust in my seat, like, every, like, 20 minutes or so. That's so, like, my feet don't fall asleep. But whenever I do art, I get so focused that I don't move or stretch. So, <laughs> oopsie. It's fine, we're good, we're good. This one is still wet. Like, it's glistening. Why is it still wet? That should be dry already. Okay, let's see. This one is still a bit wet. This one should be dry. I think we can just go ahead with this one. Now I need to think of what design I want to do on the bottom. Should I do the same thing? I think that makes sense if I did the same pattern on the bottom. Thoughts? I think I'll do that. Oh, it's like somewhat symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna get some water real quick. how to make like vinyl cuts because with the quirky you can make some really intricate designs because like I think like a long-term goal of mine is designing like illustrations for clothing I think that'd be really fun to get into because you can either do like prints where you can do like screen printing or you can do like vinyl iron-ons because, like, if you look at, like, your local, like, Zoomies or, like, Hot Topic, they have so many, like, simple vinyl designs. They can easily make with a Cricut if you have, like, if you know how to illustrate well. Okay, back to work. I think we'll go with this white one. Because it's... It's still kind of tacky, but the paint's not coming off my fingers. So I can still, like... Oh, that paint came off. I can... <laughs> I can, like, touch it and it'll be fine. So I think... I think I'll just do the same pattern I did up top but on the bottom. That way it's, like, symmetrical and nice and aesthetic. Basic, but still... It'll look cohesive. Now I need to remember how I did it. So, let's see, just about a third, so right about here, and then oh, that's a bit too high. The dot is right at the halfway line. Oh, actually, no, that's right. That's right. Okay. Figuring out the alignment is weird because I don't have the space for the stem. I think I'm gonna have to hold it like this. That's where the lines are is. 
Wait, I just realized since I'm drawing on the bottom, I can't let it sit on the base now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll figure it out. You see, it has the hole in the bottom from the stem. I can just put it back in the stem and put it in, like, meet it against something. There we go. First section done. Let's see it from the side. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Well, you know what's sad? During last week's art stream, I played Zelda music and it got copyrighted. So we can't play certain Zelda music on stream now. Sag. But it's fine. It's fine. Only three minutes of the VOD got muted. I know. I was sad. That happens with another, like, Odyssey song as well. It's from, like, the wooded area. Somebody always copyrights it on YouTube. And it's not even Nintendo. Because the way that YouTube copyright works is anybody can claim that they own a song. And they, they can just copyright you. It's fucking bullshit. I think PewDiePie talked about it a few years ago. But apparently it's still prevalent because it still happens. Okay, let's see it from the side. That looks nice. So trash, yeah. Some people are silly. And they know how to manipulate the system, but you know, it do be like that. I just don't get why people couldn't be... Can't be good people. I don't get it. Wouldn't it be illegal? Well, what people do is, um, let's say I make a remix and I sample part of a Nintendo song. Since I sampled it, I could technically say like, oh, your gaming compilation has a piece of my song even though I sampled it. it it's weird. Like, for YouTube copyright, users don't have to verify that they own the, oh, fuck, the content. Unless I, like, um, try and claim that I own the copyright to the Nintendo song, but obviously I don't, so... That's why a lot of those false copyrights get to pass through, because nobody wants to actually claim they own something when they kind of don't. It's weird. It's weird. That's why if you want to be like a YouTube streamer, you can't necessarily do like YouTube reactions. Because even if you... Oh. <laughs> oh no, oh no. It's fine. It's fine. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. It didn't smear. Um, does the person with copyrights get paid? It depends on what it is. So since none of my channels are monetized, I don't make money anyway, so there's no money to claim. But they can claim like to either take down your video or take part of the revenue. I think those are the two main types. There we go. Yeah, I've seen some people play like the trivia, are you smarter than a fifth grader game? I kind of want to do that on stream, but oh fuck! Sorry, I smeared! Look at that. Right there. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh, it 
that's ruined! But you know what? It's actually on the bottom, so it doesn't even matter. God damn, that's so annoying. Damn it. It's fine. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I remember seeing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader on TV when it aired. Because I think it aired when I was in, like, elementary. And I wasn't- I didn't know the answer to the questions. Because I feel like all the questions they pull for the show are, like, the most obscure... Like, things that aren't used in, like, everyday life. Or like, what's the other one? Where it's like, you want to be a millionaire? That one too. When they get so close and then they lose it all. It's a big sad. I think it just shows that greed is evil and bad. You know, get the bag while you can. Family Feud is good. I agree. Family Feud is pretty good. I think the main appeal to those type of game shows or reality TV is that people watching at home think they could win. And that's why they watch every week. So they could be like, damn, if I was on this show, I'd get that million dollars. It's kind of like parasocially you think you could win. You know, being parasocial... Fuck, being parasocial was a thing before streaming, am I right? Okay, last section. You didn't even know about it until now, really? I mean, I guess if some people are younger. Because I don't think this show airs anymore, right? Did you guys know that Survivor is still airing? I didn't even know. So I, I think that was my favorite reality TV show when I was younger. There we go. This one is done. I take anything above 10k. I know, right? Because like 10k, that'd be like almost half a year of income if you're living in poverty. Like most of America, am I right? I think this one's done. Look at it. It's so cute. I think I want to do like diamonds in the center here just to accentuate the shape I made. Oh, it ran from 2007 to 2011? That could be- <gasps> That could be it, then. If everybody- Okay, we're gonna let it dry this way. Damn, it only ran for four years? No way. No way. Damn, I would've been 12 when it stopped airing. Man, all the little zoomers. <laughs> Makes sense that, it, that they don't know what it is. Okay, chatter's hold, I'm posting a TikTok for the TikTok frogs. That just made me feel old. You're not that old, Mac. You're what? 21? No, I think Mac, you said you're 20. 21? Okay. For this one, I don't think I want to add a second layer of yellow. I think I just want to go in straight with black. That we can add a bit more details.
Okay. 20 is old? <laughs> Not really. You watch the like, Wiggles when you're in there? I think I did too, but I think I watched like VCRs of it. What channel was Wiggles on? Because I watched a lot of PBS. Was Wiggles on PBS? I don't think so, right? Oh, that's wet. Okay, now I'm gonna add the details. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Are we gonna do anything for her birthday, Potato? Are you guys gonna go out to eat or something? Okay, I think I'm gonna add, like, outlines. Dude, the lighter is so jank. Sadly, nobody got our birthday pie. Hey, yo, this is better than nothing, man. Okay, I'm gonna add some buck teeth. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Dude. It's supposed to be the illusion that there's a light inside, but... That's not how it's gonna look. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Isn't it kind of weird when, like, your siblings get old, or you get old? Because I'm 23 and my sister is 21. And it feels so weird, because it feels- it still feels like we're kids. Like, I don't see her as like an actual child, but... It's weird. Okay, I like that eye shape a lot. That looks really cool. Okay. Hmm, I think I'm gonna fill in the mouth. Makes sense. It's just me covering all the yellow and black. Okay, I think that's good for them. You're a teenager for so long it feels weird when it's over. I know, right? Ooh, this guy's really mad. Look at that eyeliner. Oh, that looks nice. Getting wiser? I know, right? <laughs> Go view. I'm glad I'm not a kid in today's age. It's just YouTube and TikTok. I know. It, it's... It's weird. I don't know if it's an issue of parents not being as involved. Because when I was younger, my mom, she did a lot of activities with us when we were little. Like, we did a lot of crafting. A lot of hands-on stuff. But I understand that not all parents have the time to do so. And, like, they'd have more time if they made more money. It's one of those things where... It's a mixture of factors from, like, environmental and then also systemic problems. That a lot of people don't like looking at the bigger picture. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. You played with toys for a long time? I think I stopped playing with toys when I was, like, 12. I grew out of it. It's because, like, I feel like if you play with toys all the time, you have to have a really good imagination. Which I didn't have. Like, I think I'm creative, but I'm not imaginative. Okay, how am I gonna do this one?
<laughs> the eyes look so unamused. <laughs> oh my god, that one leaked so much. The orange looks nice on the pumpkin. It's yellow. Are you colorblind? Oh, also, Oilers, if you gifted five subs, I need your pictures this week. The only chat I'm worried about is King League, because we don't see them often. It looks like a light orange. It's yellow. It's yellow. Get your eyes checked, my guy. I don't know if it's rare or flex. <laughs> Do you have like the Wii games? Dude, the Wii discs? Oh my god. Could you play movies on the Wii? I can't remember if you could. I feel like it makes sense. Because I think my first Mario game was Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. Okay, that line is crooked, but it's fine. Dude, our Wii games got so scratched and I have no idea why. It's not like we were rough with them. It just happened. Oh yeah, the the Netflix red box machines. I remember going past some of the gas station and I'd beg my mom to where we could like buy a DVD, but she'd be like, no, we can get it from the library when it comes to DVD. In three months, and then we wouldn't get it from the library either. We're you talking about DVDs, uh, like, uh, huh? Like actual movies, huh? He looks pretty good with the teeth. Guys, should I be an artist? Type one. You should make an art channel. I know, right? I know. Welcome in, Cokes. Talking about the art channel. <laughs> I forgot to plug it earlier. But if everybody watching right now could go follow my second channel. It's peace in underscore art. If you're watching on desktop or mobile, you can click the banner and follow in chat. Go follow. Guys, we're so close to affiliate on that channel. It's for hashtag free to follow. Well, we're doing well today, Cokes. Um... If I do maybe perhaps have a tournament this weekend, what if I did a long Mario Kart stream on Friday instead of art? Thoughts? Cause you know I gotta I gotta practice. But I feel like that'd be a lot of Mario Kart, because we're doing the tournament on Sunday as well on my channel for Meg Esports. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, bitch. <laughs> no Mario Kart for you then, huh? Uh, cause like, I have a lot of homework to do this week, so... I gotta use my time wisely. Oh, that line is bad. That line is bad. And I'll think about it. I'll probably decide tomorrow. Because, like, the paintings I want to do, like, you know how last week we discovered if you want to do varnish on top of a color paint, you have to let it dry for at least a day? Fuck. Sorry, the line I messed up. Anyway. So I think if we do paint on Friday, then I'll start two paintings, because I want to do varnish on top of color. 
So I'll decide tomorrow what we'll do. There can be never too much Mario Kart. I think that's debatable. I think if I play Mario Kart every stream, I would get tired of the game. Mario Kart on Friday would give more channel points? Why? Why on Friday, though? Oh, just so you can gamble in general, true. Yeah, we, we, haven't, we haven't done any gaming this week. I mean, we are going to game tomorrow. We're going to play a very, very scary game, Chatters. Very scary. Because it'll be the final day of Wicked Week. I did teeth. Okay, so let's look at all the faces one more time. A little buck teeth. This guy's mad, but they look kind of happy. Unamused, but also shocked. I think this one is the best. And this one. Just creepy. Peace I too creepy. Because if it's art, I get no channel points. True, true. <laughs> real. Okay, I think this one is just about dry. We're gonna let this one set and then we'll add like white and then little blush marks. So I think we can add eyelashes to this now. Yeah, chatters, so once we get affiliate on the art channel, then chatters can earn shadow points. Peace I too pray one day we'll get affiliates. Okay, now, I have to actually focus because we're doing fine line art now. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> it looks so weird, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, I fucked up. Dude, the paint isn't even, like, dry yet. Why is it taking so long to dry? It shouldn't take this long to dry. Like I said earlier, since it's not a porous surface, it's gonna take forever to dry. We get in there. I should gamble all 100k channel points. Do it. You know, I tell you guys, gamble all your points all the time and then nobody ever does. And it's very disappointing. You know, I want to see somebody, not their life, but their clout and chat go to shambles by losing everything. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is also, like, make some of the eyelids thicker. Cause see how like that hooded eye looks slightly different? I think I'll alternate the hooded eyes. I need VIP first, true, true. So you want to see Mac lose them all? Exactly, yes I do. I want to see Mac go home cry dad. That'd be very entertaining for me. Because then Mac would have to watch so many streams to earn back all those points, and then that's a guaranteed viewer right there. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I'm kidding. Unless... Okay, so right now I'm alternating which eye has a hood. Because see how it goes like 1, 3, and then 2, 4 here? That way there's somewhat of a pattern going on. Because I know some of you chatters click on the stream just so you can get the channel point bonus. Because if you watch X amount of streams in a row, then you get bonus channel points. It's watch streak, I think it's called. As if I'm not going to watch either way. I mean, I don't know. We never know. If I lost all my channel points, I'd be sad. I know. But to avoid that, I'm gonna just not gamble them all. Easy. 
There was one time where Scootish, he did a card pull, and he said, because he always says gamble all your points, and I never do, but the one time I actually did, I gambled like 50,000. Um, and I gambled on a good card, and he got a really good card, and then I gained, like, a hundred thousand channel points. It was insane. <laughs> Should give me the points? Yeah. I just fucked up! You know I said I'm alternating which eyes are hooded? Look, I just put two hooded eyes in a row. What do I do now? Do I give up? Do I throw in the towel? Maybe we just put that one in the back of the picture. We'll, we'll put it in the back. That way only VOD watchers will know. It's okay. It's not okay. You don't... You, if you don't do art, you don't get it. You do not get it. Make them all the way? No, but they would look too cohesive. <laughs> I think... I'll just put this one in the back of the picture. Face the back away. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's not, let's not freak out. It's fine, it's just a silly little pumpkin. That I'm gonna throw away at the end of stream, I mean, keep forever. Of course. Could do them randomly? No, but it wouldn't. You know I like pattern work a lot. And, like, remember, everything has to be done with intent to make good art. You can't just haphazardly do things. Um, is anybody an artist? Type 1? I think another thing when you're doing art is that people only see the final product typically so they won't necessarily notice all your mistakes like the painting we did last week on stream i fucked up so many times but the end result looked a-okay so only the people who watched it would know that i messed up like five times yeah this one is looking cool though it's looking kind of freaky wants a spooky game, let us gamble while she gets scared. <laughs> I- I was gonna enable sound alerts, but then I was like, sound alerts are so annoying sometimes, and I like- I'm legitimately scared that if somebody scares me so much, that I'll like jump and then knock over my desk. Like that's a fear that I have. Cause like if somebody knocks on my door when I stream, like if it's my sister or my parents, I jump. Cause I get scared. So imagine if there's like a just a jump scare scream. I'd probably like actually flip my table. I think the only game that I will never play is something like Alien Isolation. Like, that is too much for me. I feel like that is, like, too immersive. Or, like, that would actually scare me. Guys, do you think I'm actually gonna play a scary game tomorrow, type 1? Or do you think do you think I'm gonna debate you guys? What do you guys think? Because we are, we are gonna play a very scary game, but, like, are we actually, though? Do you think it's just a massive troll? Do you think I would betray your guys' trust like that? <laughs> Two. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. I might enable sound alerts again, but the sound alerts only come up if people, like, cheer bits. And, like, you guys, you guys know I like farming, but I don't want to farm too much. Night in the Woods. Isn't that game too long, though? Okay, I'm not gonna leak, but I need to play a short game tomorrow. So I was looking at, like, short, scary games. Very short, very scary games. Like, if you look at my search history, it's short, very scary games. <laughs> Okay, the last eye, guys, get ready to spam, I was here. There we go. And the eye one is done. Got some close-ups. Very nice. I was here. <laughs> Lobo. That's a good one. I didn't even think of that. The bait closed down permanently? Damn. That's okay. Don't ever feel obligated to donate, so... It's okay. I know I'm a broke bitch, so... I think the best thing people can do to support is watch the streams and also follow the offline content. Why are most scary games never short? I know! It's like, I feel like scary games, they like, have to build an ambiance, or like, for a long time before you get to like, <sighs> the actual meat of the show. I smeared ink all over. It was a promise? No, no, it's fine. You know, you can make that promise back when you become a millionaire. And it's fine. We're all going to become millionaires one guys. That's the American dream. It's bound to happen. <laughs> right? Right? Okay, I think this one is done. No, I wanted to add red diamonds to this one. I think this one should be mostly dry. Hmm. I think I'll add red diamonds to this one. Play Roblox scary games? No, I'm never playing Roblox or Minecraft because only literal children play those games. Oh, you meant why do I need a short game? I don't want to play a 10 hour game because no way I'm doing a 10 fucking hour stream. That'd be insane. The longest stream I did was a painting stream. I think it was the first stream we did on the art channel and that was nearly 10 hours and that was too much. So, I, I'm looking for a game that's like two to three hours, max four or five. Because like, if you think about it, if the gameplay is five hours on stream, it'd probably take like an extra one or two. What if we gifted a lot for what? Um, if it's a million for Minecraft, then I want like 500k gifted for um, Roblox. I think that's, that's fair. The game is so short, it's done in five minutes. I mean, that'd be a... I heckin' love short streams. Because, you know, clock in, clock out. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, like, diamonds. Then I'll do a dot in between. See, look. Cute. Cute. See, doesn't that kind of like accentuate the design a little bit more? Because there was a bit too much empty space before, yeah? What's the sort of stream you've had? Ooh. I think yesterday's because it was like uptime two hours and five minutes about but that's because we only did one thing I 
I think that's the shortest stream we've ever had because most other streams I have, it has like planned segments. So like it'll be multiple games or, um, oh, I think another short stream I've done a while ago was I did like a two hour, um, Bowser's Fury stream, but that's because I was feeling sick. I was feeling icky. So I had to end early. Oh, and then also the first Super Mario Galaxy stream I did, that one was short because I was feeling sick. Because I usually try and go for two hours. When you're small or if you're trying to go, you should try and go for three. Because people's call like notifications sometimes take an hour to be pushed out. And then usually three is when you peak. Three hours is when you peak. Or when you get pushed in like the Discover tab slightly more. Because Twitch likes when you stream long hours. For minimal pay, of course. Okay, I think this one is done. Very cute. Yeah, it's- I hate the no notifications. Like, if you follow somebody on YouTube and they go live, you get the notification right away. It looks like the Me Mexican decorations. I was kind of thinking that too, like, you know the uh, Dia de los Muertos? The little paper, like... Banners? Not banners. What's it called with, like, a string of flags? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Right? <laughs> Papel! Pa it's, it's Papel de something! I- I don't know what it is. Oopsie. Papel de- Somebody look it up, please. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna add... White details on here, and then I'll add blush marks. And then we'll be done. So chatters, get ready to spam I was here. Get ready, get ready. Okay, I'm gonna add like white glints and then fill in the teeth white. <laughs> I like this one the best. This one's really good. I got this done sooner than I thought I would, so. If we hit our sub goal today, then we can easily do Cult of the Lamb right after this for a bonus sub only stream. Because I thought this would take three hours, but I got this done in two. Guys, I'm speedrunning today. Papel Picado, is that what it is? Picado? That sounds right. Because I was thinking back to like my high school Spanish vocab, and the only thing I could think of was like decoraciones, which is decorations. And that is correct, but it's not the right term. Oh, that's too broad. I don't know either in a Mexican American. I uh, dude, I feel that. Because like I'm Asian Hispanic, but I didn't learn a lot of like the traditional stuff. So I am very much whitewashed. I'm very much American. Cause I think I'm I'm fourth generation Japanese. Because my great-grandma immigrated. And I think my dad is second gen. So then I'm third gen. I think it's also hard when you're younger. If you don't or if you aren't exposed to those cultural things, because then it doesn't really become tradition. It's not really a part of your identity as you grow older. Okay, we added the white details. Now I can add some pink, because we're gonna make it blush. It's gonna be a very cute Hawaii pumpkin. Oh, this is a new one. Oopsie. Actually, we can bust the phone open. So when you get a new paint pan, you shake it. That way the ink combines. And then you pump it. Guys, should I be an art teacher? Type one. 
Dude, the type 1 meta is so stupid, but I love it so much. It's funny. Now we're gonna add some blush. <laughs> They're gonna look so kawaii. Look, now they no longer look angry. They're so cute. Uh, they look so much more welcoming now. I think I might have to do two coats of this pink. Because it's not as opaque. I think I've only seen The Nightmare Before Christmas one time. So I didn't- I watched it when I was like 13, so I didn't have like the childhood nostalgia. I think it's because stop motion movies kind of freaked me out. I don't know. No, I think it's because I watched Coraline first, and then I didn't like it, because it was too scary. But it is pretty solid. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. I think this one's my favorite. This reminds me of Kirby, like the face. Dude, my arm looks so weird in this angle. <laughs> okay, so let's look over at all our pumpkins. We had the eyes. So this design features multiple color eyes with green, blue, and red. Some with hooded eyes and some with simple eyeliner. Oh wait, I saw- do I want to add, like, lines dividing? I don't think so. Or maybe, actually. Huh. Maybe if I did, like, a line halfway through the dots. I'll do that. Actually, we're not done. Guys, do not spam I was here. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. I want to add some more. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not done yet. But you know what else it's time for? You know who else is going to be done? The non-subs. Because, chatters, we are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. Yay, it's ad time. Um, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and you can hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. Right down here where my pen is pointing and see if you have a prime sub available. After the ad, uh, we're gonna add a few more details. We're not done yet. I thought I was done, but we're not done. You know. I usually know when to stop, but sometimes I don't know. So <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Um And if you have to watch that ad, no problem. I just uploaded a new TikTok. Go like it, go leave a comment. It's an Animal Crossing clip. I know we got some Animal Crossing frogs in the chat, so go like it, go leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, go get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Yes, I have seen the game sort the court. I remember watching Markiplier play it in a YouTube playthrough. So yes, I have. It's kind of story driven, isn't it? I mean, I haven't watched it played in years, so maybe we can add that to our list. The games to play. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a black line about a third of the way down and then do a dot. Same thing, third of the way down and then a dot. Just to kind of accentuate the line shape a bit more.
See, like that? Maybe instead of a dot, I'll do like a diamond shape. Hmm. I think that looks kind of cool. Did I miss the ad? Yeah. I mean, your subs, you wouldn't have seen it anyway. Yeah, I think adding that diamond shape is kind of cool. Why are you sagging that you missed the ad? People freaking hate the ads. Like a million people leave when I run an ad. Y'all should be glad I run them every hour. Be glad I don't run them every like 15 minutes like every other fucking streamer does. I think it's a nice touch. A little diamond. Maybe I'll throw the diamond in with like gold. I think gold will look nice. I've explained this before, but like, I could run like 1 minute 30 every 30 minutes, but I feel like that's too much. That's why like, I think 3 every hour is perfect, because it gives people like adequate time to like, use the bathroom, for me to use the bathroom if I need to. I think anything more than that is too much. Toast and jelly goes crazy. <laughs> oh, you know what I had today for breakfast? Or my brunch, basically? I had an everything bagel, and then I made, like, egg salad, and I put that on top of the bagel. It's pretty solid. I think toasting your bread or bagel, whenever you make a sandwich, is mandatory. It changes the texture so much. Okay, there we go. We added the accent lines. I think it looks so much better with that thin black line. I know, I agree, Luigi. The fucking spider mom is scary as hell. And like, I already have mommy issues. So when her fucking mom turned into a spider, it just messed with my head more. <laughs> so dude, I totally get that. Like, I can appreciate the art style that Coraline has, but it, <laughs> it's not good for a little kid to watch. Yeah, I think we can add gold. I do have gold, but this is a metallic set. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it was fucking delicious. I'm not the type of person to season what I eat. Like, I was gonna add, like, paprika... And, like, some garlic salt to my egg salad, but, like, nah. I don't need more sodium. Because mayo is, like, enough fucking calories as is. Call me basic, but I like plain, unseasoned stuff sometimes. Oh, no. This, this gold is not opaque. It's not. It's not doing it for me. I can't even see it. Bruh. Dude, you can barely see it. You eat non-seasoned food? Okay, okay. If it's like a mixture of something. Like if it's a... A salad of some sort. That already has things that kind of have flavor already. Like egg salad. Or... <laughs> two four for seasonings. True, true. Or... Okay, this gold is not opaque. No, I season my meat because meat doesn't come seasoned. I I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, sometimes I don't season my eggs. Granted, remind you, I'm. this is for myself. If I'm cooking for somebody else, dude, I would fucking season their shit. But, like, if I'm making eggs for myself, like, I don't put salt and pepper. I like them just plain. 
I'm so scared. Well, good thing I'm never cooking for you, Mac. <laughs> Eggs taste fine by itself. Exactly. Exactly. See, potato gets it. I think it's because my mom isn't good at seasoning, so even when she seasons shit, you can't really taste it. <laughs> so I'm just used to <laughs> not tasting anything. Black pepper for eggs is mandatory? Not really. Not really. Okay, I'm going over with a second coat of gold, and it's coming back a little bit more opaque now. You know what I really want? I really want bubble tea. But it's way too expensive. Getting drinks is an actual scam. They charge you like five, six dollars for- I mind you, any drink, like a coffee, a tea, a smoothie, is actual scam. Because buying, like, food supplies for drink stands is very minimal to, like, how much they actually charge. <sighs> I really want McDonald's. Shut up. But guys, guys, we're not doing McDonald's. Okay, if we hit our daily sub goal, I'll play Cold to the Lamb while eating McDonald's. Pause, champ. Peace, I too shake. I was about to say eat McDonald's instead. No, uh, guys, I have so many leftovers to eat. I kind of want another egg salad sandwich. Like, that one I had for breakfast is pretty good. Kind of want another one. Okay, I added the gold accents. What if I make you give five cents? Make me? No. That's so counterintuitive. I mean, you could. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold, hold. Chatters hold. Let me check something. Let me check something. <laughs> hold, wait, I'm checking something. Okay. She's gonna disable it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can't let you guys scam the system, right? <laughs> I. Okay, for chatters, if you don't know the context. You can use your channel points that you earn while watching the stream and you can spend it on rewards. And I can enable settings to where a reward can only be redeemed one time throughout a stream or it can be redeemed multiple times but only one time per person. So I, I quickly, discreetly, mind you discreetly, changed the I gift you or chat a tier one sub from you can only redeem it one time per user. So if every child are watching right now redeemed, that would work. But now Kobobo can't redeem it ten times in a row. It's one per stream. <laughs> nice try, Bucko. You shouldn't have said anything. I literally would not have realized. I literally would have been clueless. <laughs> it's not rude. It's just business, baby. Okay. Now that this one is dried... I'm gonna add one more coat of pink. It needs to be slightly more opaque, and then we'll be done. Then we'll be done, guys. <clears throat> you only have- You only have 28k, really? I would think you'd have more by now. I mean, you've only been watching, like, regularly for about, like, two months now, yeah? Okay, 20k is pretty good for two months. Because people get about 15k every month. Um, Chatters, if you want to earn more channel points, watch every stream. You heard me right, every stream. And if you subscribe, you get a multiplier. Ain't that pretty neat? Oh, this looks so much better with two coats.
Okay, the final chatters. Get ready to spam. I was here because this is the final section on the final pumpkin we're painting today. Get ready, get ready. Okay, I think pencils down, pens down. We are done. Stop the timer. I think this run is finished. I was here. Yes, you were here. Okay, so let's get a quick overview of our pumpkins that we made today. Or that we painted, rather, not make. So this one is a light, white, almost creme pumpkin. With this red quilt-like pattern. Let's give it a quick twirl. Look at how nice and symmetrical that is. Looks very Christmassy almost, but you know, it's Halloween. It counts, it counts. This looks really pretty from the top. I still vouch that it looks like a poinsettia. Wowie. Then we have the kind of spooky, kind of scary eyes pumpkin. With black details and gold accents. A very bold, but beautiful piece, if I should say so. And finally, the basic pumpkin with four fun faces. And they're all so cute and kawaii. Look, they're blushing. They're so cute. I think this one's my favorite. This one's pretty good. That one came up. The line art came out really good on that one. But there we go. Chatters, which is your favorite pumpkin? Let's do a quick poll. So we'll do white with red. We'll do eyes and then the faces. Which one is your favorite? Pokemon, go to the polls. Which one is your favorite pumpkin? Everybody, mandatory voting. This is not a democracy. Everybody must vote right now. Which is your favorite? <laughs> I think my favorite, uh, I mean, they're all nice. I think objectively, which one would I put on my house? Probably this one, because this one's the most artsy. But this one looks really clean and nice. But then this one is, like, so expressive. Chatters, Pokemon, go to the polls. Everybody must vote. How'd you feel after the candy stream? I was fine. I think I had too much sugar, so I just went and ate, like, regular food, and I felt fine. I did finish the rest of that whole Milky Way bar. <laughs> so. I wasn't t feeling too sick. I, I was lying for camera. I was acting. Of course. Okay, cool. Eyes one, really? I think this one has the most, like, detail on it. This one is the most messy, as you can see. I smeared here. So I think this one was the hardest to work with because it had so many different layers. Like, you can see my hands, they're all painted up. But Chatters, I think that concludes day two of Wicked Week. Thank you everybody for watching. But before I go, we did have somebody redeem calligraphy today. So Chatters, if you need to stream, anybody who donates to the channel or uses their channel points gets their name written at the end of stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pens. So if anybody else wants to have their name written, you can donate to the channel or use your channel points right now. I'll be posting these on Twitter later today. Who stole the rainbow? Kobobo. Winky. <laughs> yeah, uh, the rainbow one has only one per stream, so if you want, you gotta get it quick. I think Kobobo redeemed it right when I went to, like, this camera. So... Because I think Channel Boy Redemptions can only be redeemed when somebody is live. Okay, I'm changing my title. Hold. We can farm a little bit. Also, if we hit our sub goal today, if we get five subs, then I will do a bonus call to the lamp stream right now. <laughs> you heard me right, right now. 
The rainbow looks so nice. I know! I know! The rainbow does look pretty sick. <laughs> right now. I would just end stream, set up my camera, and then do a sub only. <laughs> Not why, why are we asking Mac directly? Whoa, Mo. Hello, I think Mac hit their budget for the month. Hello, Mo. <laughs> Chatters, I'm trolling. Don't feel obligated to donate. <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, don't do it, Mac. Mac is sick. You know, they gotta save their money so they can buy, like, delivery and shit. Yeah, Mac isn't working because they're sick. I have shockingly donated less this month. Yeah, because you donated, what, fucking 30 last month because you're crazy? Crazy? Okay, so gentle reminder, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel and write your name. Well, this angle is whack. Bro, this angle is wild. 38, bro, you're crazy. I mean, everybody could collectively use their channel points and make me gift by self subs. If everybody used like 15k? I don't know. That is a loophole. That'd be a very mean loophole. So now I have to spend my money on stream. <laughs> Imagine spending money on my own stream. Unreal. You're a 2k? Oh yeah, you gambled a lot, didn't you, Pride? That's what you get for gambling. I mean, gambling. Bull, bull, bull. I said it wack because the like, said the angle is wack. True. The angle is weird, huh? Bull, bull, bull. I think Bobo's name is so fun to say. It sounds like I'm saying Boba. Bobo, ba. I can't redeem. You can't- only one person can redeem the rainbow, but infinite people can redeem the calligraphy name, I think. I believe, I presume. Can you do a gamba and give pride points? What would the gamba be? I know sometimes, in like offline chat, They'll have like predictions for like heads or tails, but then that's, that's actual gambling. That's actual legitimate gambling because that's pure RNG. Okay, so we had Mac redeem pink. Got her, so last call. This is the last name. Guys, we gotta stall. No! Stall for what? I'm not gonna sing because I'm not on camera. And that'd be cringe if I sang not on camera. There we go, not Mac. <laughs> it can make your hands sick. No, I don't think that's how it works, honey. <laughs> I think that would just be offensive to ASL users, huh? They'd be like, that dumb bitch, Megan. Pretending to sign when she doesn't know sign language. How offensive and insensitive. Okay, if I sing... Hmm. Hmm, I'll think about it. Do the hand puppets? Then I'd have to make hand puppets. 
Can you post a Twitter trap telling Oilers to go? Dude. Dude. Okay, I'll find a song to sing quiet. I'm not gonna refund you since it's not often you can watch streams. So I'll find a song to sing. I just won't be on cam. No, I think finger puppets would be harder to make because sewing small intricate things is very difficile. Okay, don't show my phone on camera. Got it. Looking for a song? How am I gonna post this on Twitter? That's what I said! But you know, we're not gonna scam Pride because it's not often they can catch a live, so. Okay, I found a song. It's an oldie but a goodie, but it's one of my favorites. Let's turn this shit off. White Lamel. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming Potato. We'll do it after the song. <laughs> How would I even do white? I could use Karim. Okay, I take my headsets off. Oh my god, my phone's on camera. <laughs> Oopsie. I didn't leak anything. It, <laughs> it is just it's just the song lyrics. I didn't leak anything. <laughs> okay, chatters, chatters. You know what's a hack? Um if you look at your phone settings, you can disable um like drop down notifications. That way, and like, you know how Messenger has little bubbles? I disabled that as well. Because I, I ain't gonna leak, I've never leaked anything, and I never will. <laughs> then it would seem like there's a random gap. Maybe I could do like, an outline in black. That actually could be interesting. An outline in black. I'll try that. Okay, let's sing a song. Thank you, Pride, for redeeming. You're the best. Thank you. I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, as you guys know, chatters can use their channel points and I'll sing a song. If you want to see all the previous singing clips, I have them posted on YouTube, on my clips channel. Go subscribe. <clears throat> and if everybody could politely spam your favorite emotes, your favorite animated, your favorite hype emotes in the chat, I'd appreciate it. I can love emote spam. I'm gonna sing Lucky by Jason Mraz fe featuring Colby Kayot. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I have to kind of sing closer to the mic because this song is kind of breathy. Boy, I hear you in my dreams. I feel you whisper. Across the sea, I keep you with me in my heart. You make it easier when life gets hard. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. Ooh, 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 ooh. They don't know how long it takes for waiting for a love like this. Every time we say goodbye, I wish we had a one more kiss. I'll wait for you. I promise you, I will. There we go. That was the first verse and the chorus. I slowed it down a beat or two because I think it sounds really pretty when you slow it down. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's another song I was going to sing at my elementary school talent show in like fifth grade, but then I bailed because I was too much of a fucking wimp. 
Thank you for sure. Thank you for redeeming. I like singing. Not many people like when I sing IRL, so I'm glad you guys like it. Let's put Halloween music back on. Yay. Okay, we had one more name redeemed. Now I gotta figure out how to do what. The what is right. <laughs> no, I meant to say rat is rat. Oopsie. Delete the VOD. Mods, delete the VOD. Okay, I have this peach color that is basically white. Let's see if it even shows up on camera. Oh, you literally can't see it. Actually, you can kind of see it. I mean, is it? <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. <gasps> hey, yo! Thank you for that gifted sub, Meg. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're gonna get your name written in the rich person journal. Thank you, Meg. Okay, we had mashed potato with their channel points. Chatters. Four more subs and we get to play Cult of the Lamb. Guys, I've been itching to play. I've been, like, itching. But y'all won't let me. Because y'all are mean. <laughs> One too many. Yeah, Mac is not allowed to donate the rest of the month. Not allowed, Mac. You're not allowed. But thank you for donating, Mac. And now someone else has to step in. Exactly. Exactly. You must pass the baton. I mean, Mac, you could use your channel points to make me gift and make me go broke, too. Because, Mac, if you have 100,000 divided by 15,000, you can redeem six if you wanted to. But then you lose VIP. Hmm. Peace, I, too. Hmm. <laughs> but it's so much to real... Fifteen K is so much. Nah, nah, it's reasonable. You know, I see some channels, and one gifted sub is like a hundred thousand points. VIP is impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. I'll use channel points for one. Okay, we got one taker. We only we only need three more, three more. Or if we have any lurkers and you have a prime available, you can subscribe for free with Prime. Easy. There we oh, I gotta write the label. <laughs> Lurkers, please. <laughs> you know what, my friend? This is my sister's friend. He said he was gonna make an Amazon, or he was gonna make a Twitch account, link his Prime, and sub for Prime today just for me. And he lied, because he didn't show up to stream today. He's a liar. He's a liar. And I'm really mad because he likes me. 
Because <laughs> we had like a whole bit plan where I was gonna like goop and gap with them. <laughs> oh, we gotta do something. Guys, you know what sucks? <laughs> yeah, Bachek. You know the boost trains? Like, you guys see the hype trains to where if they hit a certain level, it recommends the stream? Only partnered streamers can get a boost train. Sad. Text him? No, I don't have his number. That's weird. That's my sister's friend, not my friend. Ew. Yeah, I'd be like, where's my fucking prime sub? I know! You fucking lied to me. <laughs> He's a liar. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I mean, another thing is, like... I don't know. Why? Because Twitch is... Twitch is getting better, but... I think it makes sense, because, like, I don't think Twitch would want to recommend, like, a very small affiliate channel. Because, like, what if... Uh... You know the whole incident where, like, a domestic terrorist shooter streamed himself on Twitch? But I don't think they want that happening. Like, imagine if that guy had I've trained. Whoa! <laughs> imagine he got a boost train. Holy... But, like, you know what I mean? I can see why it kind of makes sense. Because, like, a partnered streamer is indirectly endorsed by, by Twitch. Because, like, Twitch staff has to, like, evaluate their channel and their content and their offline social media. So, like, it kind of makes sense that they would recommend a partner streamer to that. Because, like, a boost train, it sends your channel to, like, thousands of people's recommended tab. <laughs> Dude, imagine my sister gets five. Dude, imagine. That'd go crazy. She doesn't even have a Twitch account. Cause I asked her, I was like, hey. I was like, hey. Maybe you can link dad's account to your Twitch account. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, true. I guess that's too much work for you. Okay, chatters, I think that's enough stalling for now. I think we can call it a day here. Once again, thank you, Titty Chatters. Any two of my hands are disgusting. Uh, thank you, Titty Chatters. Slickers, I appreciate everybody who watched today's stream. We painted three lovely little pumpkins. I hope everybody had a fun and chill time for hanging out today. Let's get a quick look at them all again. These are all mostly dry, so they should be good. Stop sagging, Max. Stop sagging. We'll unlock Cult of the Lamb again someday. Okay, chatters, what needs to happen is I need to pop off and, like, we need to actually get a, a prince or something watching. That's what needs to happen. That's what we need right now. <laughs> so, oh, but the best way to do that is to follow my offline social media and, like, engage with it. Like, reply to tweets. Comment on the TikToks. Share it with your friends. All that type of shit. That's the best way. Anyway, I think this one's really nice. Even though it looks Christmassy, I think this one's super nice. Okay. Um, once again, thank you to everybody. Guys, everyone has to say, no, why, why are you making me feel bad? I've explained this before. I have bonus streams because my time is very valuable. I, I see so many, like, Twitch tip videos that say, if you're not a partnered streamer, only stream three days a week for two hours. And then make TikToks the rest of your day. And it's like, I think that's pretty solid advice, but, you know, not all people can make original content on TikTok that does well. Like, if you look at a lot of streamer TikTok, it's them just talking about streaming, and it's fucking cringe and boring as fuck. And the only people who like and engage with the content is just streamers, and that's bad. So, anyway. Like, a lot of my time offline is spent editing VODs and stuff for clips. So, I would stream more, but it's hard to, like, justify streaming for so many hours if you don't have a, like, baseline viewer count or, like, baseline donation amount you get every day. Like, if I could stream 40 hours a week and average, like, 20 people or get, like, X amount of subs every day, then that'd be justifiable, right? But it's not smart, um, economically for someone small to stream every day or stream X amount of hours every week. So, that's why. 
And it, I understand it'll take a long time before I ever get to that point, and the best thing I can do now is to stream minimal hours, but also enough to, like, give the regular viewers, like, a little taste, a little crumb, and then just build the offline, like, TikTok on YouTube. That's the best thing I can do. Because discoverability on Twitch, everybody says it, but it's not the best. And the reason why is because people on Twitch don't go to Twitch to find new creators. It's also because the algorithm doesn't encourage that. So. Yeah. I like this one a lot. I keep spitting it because it's so, like, pretty to look at. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I think it's important to explain those things because I think a lot of people don't get it. Like, if you don't stream, you don't get it. And, like, I have a lot of people watching who don't stream, which is really good. Thank you, everybody who wa who's watching, genuinely. Um, it's not common that you see somebody my size who doesn't have an audience that is not streamers. Which is really good. When are you going to switch to YouTube? Never. Um, I'm only going to YouTube if I can get a multi-million dollar partnership deal. Ludwig even said, he's, Ludwig said it's not smart to switch if you don't have an established platform or if you don't get a deal. And I've been saying that from the start, and everyone's like, oh my god, YouTube, 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 but it's like, the community, the UI, and also the moderation is not there. So, I think it's also, you don't want to put all your eggs into one basket. Like, I think it's fine for people to co-stream or stream on multiple platforms, but... I'll send you 1k. Ayo! Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> 1k channel points? You didn't specify, you didn't label. Nah, you're trolling, you're trolling. I mean, what would the benefit to switching to YouTube be? I wouldn't even have monetization on YouTube, so you guys wouldn't be able to give me money. I mean, you wouldn't be able to get a membership. Like, there's no monetization on YouTube. And that, that's the only reason why people stay with Twitch is because the monetization is better. So, yeah. Like, I can understand that YouTube is better for long-term growth, but if you need income now, or if you want to get your audience accustomed to paying for the content you have, Twitch... Twi Twitch is better. Yeah, I agree. The interface of YouTube for the viewer is better, but for the streamer, it's not. It's not. Okay, I think we've stalled long enough. I don't think anybody's live. Because it's early. Oh my god, Hassan is live. Should we raid Hassan? <laughs> oh wait, I was going to say this earlier. But you ever been a large streamer in chat? Because like... In chat, when they receive a raid, like, a message comes up in the chat room from Twitch, and it's like, oh, so-and-so raided with blank viewers. Um, anytime <laughs> you see, like, a larger streamer, like a 1k Andy minimum, get raided by a small streamer, the chat is just like, pog o small raid, or pog o one viewer, or plus one viewer, and it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> I would never. Dude, I would never. <laughs> like, it's, it's so fucking mean that people do that, but it's just, like, the Twitch culture. Like, people are so, like, hinged on numbers. Like, even if you look at a big streamer and they drop a thousand viewers, people in chat would be like, oh, minus one thousand viewers. It's, 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 a, it's so mean that people do that. And, like, the people who do that aren't streamers, that's why. So they don't get it. They just don't get it. I'd be embarrassed, yeah. I, I said it earlier today, but like, I feel embarrassed when I raid up the scooters sometimes. Because like, I feel like, I I think most of my chatters do type the raid message in, but I, otherwise it's like, it doesn't feel as welcome. And it's, it's, it's weird. It's hard to explain and talk about without feeling like I'm talking shit, but... I don't know. It, it's just weird. Then why do you raid? Um... 
It's like a kind gesture. It's a kind gesture. But then some people don't see it as kind. They see it as like clout chasey. Because usually when you raid to somebody, um, you usually get a few followers from their chat. Like, you know how they shout out and shut. But that's not why I do it. I raid to Scootish even if I have a like, very small amount of people. Is because I know you guys like him. And in my head, I'm just like, most of you guys would probably go just go to his chat anyway. So. It, it's like... Uh, when Twitch announced that they changed the settings to where you can have... So, if you stream, you can change who's allowed to raid you. Like, people who have verified Twitch accounts. If you're following their channel, or if they follow you. If they have less than... 0, 5, 10, 100 viewers. You can block those raids if you want to. So... Why are you typing his raid message in chat? You fucking cringe. <laughs> um... But, yeah. It- it's- it's weird. It's... And I know it's different for me because I don't get raids often, so I don't... have that same... Uh, what's a good way of saying it? I don't have a raid video because I think raid videos are fucking cringe. And I think a raid video makes people leave your chat because it's cringe. And... Like I explained earlier, I turned off the alerts to say like how many viewers join the raid. Because I don't think it's fine to judge somebody by their numbers. Because when I do stream, um, you know how we do calligraphy? We usually lose like, we lose like a a quarter of the viewers whenever that happens. So if I have, let's say, ten people, we drop like four or three when we do calligraphy, which is fine because it's not like the main meat of the show. But if I raided and we didn't do calligraphy, then I'd have more people in the raid. But I don't want to do that because I think it's important to thank the people who donate at the end. You know, something special. Um... It's because I don't care about numbers, and I think I need to appreciate that mentality while I still have it, when it's not important. Because it's very easy to see it as a number, but there's still, like, a person behind every live viewer count. That's why, like, a lot of sponsorships will reach out to small streamers because they understand that, yes, your follower count is low, yes, your viewer count is low, but that's still a real person. Versus, like, if you look at, um, like, your likes on Twitter, like, somebody could just, like, easily pass through that, but a stream, those are people, who are, like, sitting down, engaging, watching your life. Those are people who are invested. That's why sponsors like podcasts, they like to sponsor streamers, because those viewers are more likely to actually care about the creator they're watching or engaging with or listening to. There's so many different things that are... There's a lot of levels to everything. Anyway, I said it was going to end like 10 minutes ago, so we're going to end now. <laughs> Love wow. <laughs> VOD watchers in shambles. Oh my god, Mizkiff just went live. <laughs> Sad shit, Mizkiff. <laughs> okay, anyway, chatters. I will see everybody tomorrow for a very, keyword, very scary game. We tried, Lamo. Lamo. It's fine, don't worry about it. You know, I think I shill enough already. I can't be shilling too much. So, okay. Once again, thank you to everybody who watched Chat Alert. Once again, thank you to Mac for the gifted sub to chat. Thank you. We decorated three very cool and creative pumpkins today. I'll post these later on Twitter. I'll be live again tomorrow for day three of Wicked Week. Tomorrow, we're going to play a very, very scary game. So make sure you're tuned in live tomorrow at 11 a.m. PSD. Before I go, last thing, last thing. If everybody watching right now, mandatory, do it right now. Go follow my art channel. It is peace and underscore art. If you're watching, you can click the banner in chat. 
and follow right in chat people pog wow um i might go live on that channel friday i might not we'll see we'll see um we are close to feeling on that channel if we hit 50 followers then we can get sub emotes and channel points on that channel road to 50 followers wowie okay once again thank you we'll have face cam tomorrow i just couldn't get the second camera to work today big sesh but we'll see you'll see my lovely wait can i put my face under here no, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> I'm gonna make a joke. <laughs> Can I even fit my face? Hey. Oh, oh that hurt. I like slammed my chest on the table. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love <laughs> I can't. Dude, I like slammed it into the desk. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you everybody for hanging out today. I had a lot of fun painting these surprisingly. Like it's really calming. My hands are all dirty though. I I have the wrong scene. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.